My wife's staring at me. What's up, everybody? I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all. I know that I did a poll, what was it, yesterday? Day before? Anyway, um, talking about some Logic Pro stuff. If you answered yes to that poll and you are a Logic Pro X user, I wanted to share something with you. So when I was making projects first, like when I was new to it, to Logic Pro, I kept saving new projects every time I would save, every time I'd add something. Like if I added a track or I kind of went a different direction with the song or pulled out a section, I would save it as a whole new project. Is there anything wrong with that? No. Uh, but it tends to, for me anyway, make things a little more disorganized. So I just wanted to help you out with something that uh, will help you keep your projects clean help them stay organized, and also help you save your butt when something gets deleted and you have to go back and find it. Maybe you're working, like me, for instance, working on a vocal track. The track sounds terrible by the time you are uh, finished. Like, man, this is so bad. I need to start back at square one. Well, what I'm about to show you is going to help you out with that. So instead of saving new projects, check this out. It's called Project Alternatives, and it is the best thing ever. So what I would do is, obviously, this is um, not saving, but if you go to the file, you go down here to Project Alternatives, you would click New Alternative. And what it does is it saves this as an alternative to this project. Okay. And then anytime you make a big change, you can save it as a new alternative under one project. Meaning I can go through, say, four alternatives and still pull stuff from the first alternative that I did. Does that make sense? So like, imagine it like drafts on a paper. So you would finish your first draft, go to your second draft, your third draft, your final draft. And if you don't like something on your final draft that you actually did like on your first draft, you can go back to your first draft and pull it. It's really cool. Um, I just wanted to get on there and share that with you because it's something that saved me multiple times. In fact, right now it's saving me on a track where vocals didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. I ended up putting a plug in on them that like warped the EQ really bad and there was like no returning. So I had to go back to the first revision, the first alternative, and figure it out from there. So yeah, hope this helps you guys. I hope you really enjoy this video. If you want to see some more, let me know.